drawing a puppy dog. First of all, I'm going to start off with a nice big circle. Notice how I'm drawing, holding my pencil underhand. Although you can't see it on the video, I'm actually drawing right from my arm. So a nice light shape, and as I'm drawing, I'll be drawing with the side of my pencil. So that's the first thing, it's a basic shape there. The next thing I want to do is put in the eyes. To make it easier on myself, I will actually not draw each eye, but I'll draw the space between the eyes. For this dog here, I want it to be cute. So an adult dog, we may put the eyes here. For a younger dog, looking a little cute, we'll put it down a little bit lower. So I have two little tick marks here, you can barely see them, and that's going to be for the space between the eyes. The great thing about that is now I can use this space here as the size for one of my eyes. That's actually a really great technique as we can use the space that we use as a way of showing us how big we should be making our eyes. A little bit higher here, there's one. Nice oval shapes. They don't need to be perfect ovals. The more you practice it, the better you can become at them. But we're just getting a nice basic shape for now. I'm going to put the iris in. And when we put the iris, try to make it as a complete of a circle as possible. I'm going to have my eyes looking up. That way the puppy's looking up at us. Makes them look a little cuter. A little more defenseless. For our nose, I'm going to put the nose just below the circle. I'm going to draw an oval on its side and try the best you can to have it lined up. We're going to imagine an imaginary line right through there. It will help us out. Some artists will actually draw that line. I'm not going to today, but maybe on a different drawing I'll show you about that. And because he's a puppy, we'll keep that it's relatively small how it's going so far. I now want to draw the muzzle and that sort of mouth part where there's the nose, mouth, jaw, the whole part of a dog. I want it to be lined up properly uh, and evenly. So I'm going to start off probably just outside the eye there. You can imagine dropping it down. Side. To find the other side, because I want it to be lined up, I'm going to have an imaginary line going from one side to the other. And wherever it hits that circle there, these two should be lined up. They should be about the same distance. Maybe a little further out on this one. So I'm trying to imagine that the, this distance here is the same for that. The next thing I'm going to draw here is a little line underneath the nose. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to find exactly where I want this U shape to become. If I want to just sort of go as one long swipe it may get off, so I can draw it in a couple of different spots. It makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to start off here. And I make one big problem, not just two smaller, easier to handle problems. I'm really trying to get this to be as symmetrical as we can manage. So I like where that's looking there so far. Hey, my nose is over a little on the far side. That doesn't bother me. Well, I did a little bit. Now I want to think about the ears. On a human or a monkey, we keep the ears right around, just below the eyes, around the nose level. But in almost any other animal, we'll put the ears up tall. Way up at the top of the crown. I think I want my ear to start there. And before I even begin this ear, I'm going to have an imaginary line across to the other side of that circle for the height of the other one. I want these two to be about the same height. Okay. Well, if it looks a little off, just because the camera's a little weird there. But I want to have that there, maybe a little lower. There we go. I like how that looks. It gets, so they're going to start the same spot. I will then think, well, I want my ears to go down probably about here-ish. And I'll do the same thing. I'll have a stop point. Where do I want my ears to start? Where do I want them to stop? And I can right now figure out, is this too short or too long? Are they off too much? I like where those look, so I'm going to leave them. If I didn't, I can erase it and try again. I want this to be a nice sort of floppy ear, so it's going to come out there. And a nice soft line all the way down. Come around. I'm going to aim up towards his mouth there. Almost right underneath his eyeball, I guess, on that one. 
So we'll try and do something similar on this side here. It's coming around there. Again, trying to get that as relatively symmetrical. This is a dog after all. It's not going to be perfectly, but we'll try to get them fairly similar. I like how that's looking so far. Now I can put a few more other details. Maybe I'll go back here, put some eyebrows. Oh, a bit more emotion in there. Now it's looking really sad. Oh, if you didn't mean to chew your homework. A little tuft of hair is fun to have. You start up here by the little starting point. It's going to come around right over. It's going to like little shaggy bangs. You don't have to do this. Or you can put a different style as well. If a little girl, you can put a little bow if you wanted to, or ribbons. Or even a shaggy hair. It doesn't really matter. I have five points, so that way I don't have too many. I'm gonna come up here, right up. Oops. One, and back. There's two. There's three. There's four, and five. So five little points there. I like how that looks. Let's see. If we can move that off there. Try not to have my point line up with the scalp there. It just looks a little bit odd if I do. So for that I've just made the circle a little bit higher. So I like where all that's looking. I can clean up a few lines and then shade some stuff in. Start off racing down there as well as a racing up top. I can also put in right here a little frown shape our muzzle, really giving a sense that this here is round, it's going to stick out a little bit. I'm going to simply color in the eyes in a really basic way. If you've got a better way or a different way that you like to color in the eyes, go for it. Have some fun with it. For his nose, I'm going to draw another little oval inside his nose and color everywhere but that. This here, of course, will give a sense of a bit of a shine to the nose. I like how it's looking so far. So what I can do, when I'm happy with it all, I can take either a darker pencil or I can take a pencil crayon, and I'm going to go around all my lines with a nice, dark, thick line. It's a nice, even line. I'm trying to use long strokes. Long pencil lines here. helps clean up some lines a little bit. I usually actually pull my pencil more than I push it. But not always. When I go on inside, same darkness, just a little bit thinner. Just a little bit. Putting it along here. Up along in there as well. Especially the eyes. You can get those eyes nice and dark. Oh, and this looks so good. So, running out of time here. Chime lets me know not much time left. So there we go. We've got that as our basic little dog. Of course, if you want any extra details or color in the ears or some sort or add a body, whatever you think. Oh. You might need go for it. I forgot. Oh, I forgot. as I'm looking at this, I forgot one small detail. I like putting in. Let's put three dots. One, two, three there. One, two, three. Those triangular dots can really make it look like he has whiskers. All right. Have fun. Keep practicing.